What's up, people? What's up, people? Afro Joe here, Technica TIE is again, like always. Uh, everybody heard about this whole Michael Brown incident and everything. I did. I heard, I found out about it after Robin Williams' death, which I thought it was sad to find out about <laughs> Robin Williams passing. And then next thing you know, you get hit with this. Some 18 year old gets killed by a police officer and and shit. And I, I sat there and I. And I said, I said, then I was watching it. I said, hold up, hold up. You telling me this kid gets shot by a police officer? I said, ain't this the second time? No, I'll make it like, ain't this the second time I ain't heard some shit like it about a kid getting, about somebody getting killed by the police? First was that Eric Gardner story. Y'all remember the Eric Gardner story, right? And. I thought it was something else, man, just, to, like, for real, and I'm sitting up there, so I didn't, didn't, uh, Eric Gardner, yeah, there you go, Eric Gardner, now, everybody find out about Eric Gardner, about how he was choked out by the police and died, now, they gonna prosecute the police officer and the, the other police that was accessory to it. And I sat there and I said, hold up. We just went through this a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Not last week, but a few weeks ago. With the police doing this shit. We just went through this. In which I don't get. This man gets choked down by the police officer. This man gets killed by a police officer. Well, he's 18, but he was walking from the store to go home, and he gets shot and killed by a police officer. I'm sitting in the best, like, scratching my head. I was like, another fucking police officer doing some crazy shit? I said, man, that is so fucked up, man, in every which way, man. And I... And, and, and I was like, oh my God, a police officer shoots a cop, uh, police officer shoots a kid. I said, we already been through a, a cop shooting, not shooting, but killing one man. I already been through a police officer killing one person. And then you hear about some teenager getting shot and killed. And then they want to, then they want to wait several days several days, hold on, let me repeat that, several days, to say, he robbed the store, I said, hold up, hold up, he robbed the store, he robbed the store, I said, didn't they do the same damn thing to Trayvon Martin, trying to make him look bad on the media, trying to make Trayvon Martin look bad when he got, oh, Trayvon's a thug, he had weed on, da 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 but this boy is dead, unarmed and dead. This boy is dead, unarmed, but dead. See the connection? Shot and killed. Media and everybody else want to make him look like a bad kid, calling him a thug. Shot and killed, trying to say he robbed the store. Which I don't understand. They, they What they try to say was, he went to the store to get something, whatever, at the store. To get whatever. It's, I don't know what he was getting, but they said he stole cigars or cigarettes. See how they lie so quick? They say he stole cigars, and then they say he stole cigarettes. And I sit up there for the longest. I say, like, that's some bullshit. They doing the same thing as they did to Trayvon Martin. And then they waited a week just to show the tape of him being in that store. I said, hold up, hold up. I remember last year, back in 2013, I was watching a video about a protest on March 23rd about they didn't, and they're, and they, 
protest that they had. Everybody was wearing hoods and they were filming Dick Gregory. And, they, and Dick Gregory said, how come they didn't show the tank when he was in the store? I said, that was a good question. That's what they, Look up Dick Gregory protest of Trayvon Martin. You'll see him on Stu, on, some, on Stu wearing a, a, a hoodie. And he brings up, and he'll say, March 23rd. It, the day was recorded, but it was posted March 24th. And I sat up there and I said, hold on. He said, what? They didn't release the tape. And it's been a year at the time. It's been a year at the time. And I said, all right, it's been a year and they still haven't showed the tape of Trevor Martin being in the store. And then after that video I watched, it was in March 23rd that it was done. Posted March 24th. A month later in April, they finally showed the video of Trevor Martin. They waited a month. And they do the same damn thing to this, to Michael Brown. They waited a week to show he was in some somebody's store, and they trying to say it was him. Look, man, when you look at a, a convenience store tape, because they set them up in the corner somewhere in the store on the sides, you can't tell who that person is because it's pixelated. You can tell what 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 they got on, what kind of clothes they got on. Uh, and the color of their skin, but you can't see the features. You can't see their face. You can't see their face. And I sit there, I sit there, and I'm looking. I said, I don't, I, I, I can't tell who that person is in that video. I said, a little person running up trying to start some stuff with this dude, and this. And the guy grabbed the shirt, and I was like, I can't tell if that Michael Brown or somebody else. And next thing you know was, next thing you know was, he walking from the, he's walking down the street. Police pulls over, pulls him over. It said that, get the fuck out the street. And he's just shot and killed, killed, shot him seven times, two in the head, and the rest in the body. Like, I think he was six times. Friends running off, people pulling out the cell phone, recording the shit. And I sit up there and I'm looking at this shit like, man, kid was walking home from the store and he gets shot and killed. They waited seven days. I ain't say they, I said they waited seven days. And I sit there and I question, I say, why did they wait seven days? To say any the the show is they said oh he robbed the store I said okay if he robbed the store yeah he needs to go to jail but he sh but he was shot and killed that that makes it more of a racial profiling than a robbery and I sit there man I was so mad I was so upset I say like, oh my God people are rioting people are losing it people are gone people's gone like just out and I sit up and I look I say man this shit is not right this shit is not right he gets shot and killed don't know the, and the funny th I was like oh my god and the funny thing about it is they say he robbed the store of cigarettes or box of cigars like one thing is why he gonna rob a box of cigars when they say cigars they I'm talking about Cuban cigars when you say a box of cigars if you say some cigarillo oh he stole a box of cigarettes a uh, pack of cigarillo that's like might as well say a pack of cigarettes and I sit there and I say they say he stole a pack of cigarettes and there's witness saying he paid for that shit and then he was walking down the street he was walking down the street, police tell him to talk on the sidewalk, didn't know what the suspect looked like, but he shot him anyway. I said, hold up, hold up. Didn't know, now, don't make, to me, I was like, don't make excuses. Don't make excuses. Like, he shot this kid, but he heard about a robbery. He, he, he heard about a robbery, doesn't know what the 
doesn't know what the suspect look like. I said, hold up. I, I, I watch comps, the show comps. And they always come over the radio and they give them the prescri uh, uh, description of what a suspect look. Red shirt, blue pants, black, white, whatever shit. You know how that shit go. They radio in that shit. And tell your other officer what the person look like. And he sh I was like, okay, he wrote us so I said, you need to go to jail for that shit. But I heard he shot and he, he shot the kid, didn't know what the, didn't know he was a suspect in the robbery. I said, you know what, that's a racial profile, and he shot and killed that boy. And his friends started telling him, telling him what happened. People started coming out, witnesses and stuff. We were walking from the store. We went to the store. He paid for it, what we was getting. Then we went down. We were going home. I said, he went to buy something from the store and went home. And you got all these people riding. You got the NAACP sitting up there calling the fucking FBI. And I'm sitting up there. I said, this boy did not have to die. I said, see what's happening. I said, this is bullshit that your kids can't walk the streets. It's more fucked up. Your kids can't go to school because they're getting fucked by the teachers in school. Your kids can't go to church because they're getting fucked by the by the priest in church. They can't go to a neighbor's house because the neighbors are trying to fuck them or just snatch them up. I said, I remember, I was born in the age group through the ages and 90s. I remember kids getting killed by gang members, by drugs. Like from 80s, 90s to, to now. Well, gangs killing them. Drugs killing them. Huffing Freon from the AC unit. Doing bath salt, committing suicide. Now the police killing. I said, man, ain't this about a bitch? I ain't never thought the Pope was gonna kill your kids. Kill your kid. They killing your kids. And you got all these damn motherfuckers, motherfuckers sitting up there like, oh, he he didn't do nothing wrong. That's what you said the last time. But that Pope going to fucking prison. And he shoots a kid that has no weapon on him. And, and the state of Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, whatever, Ferguson, Ferguson, Bulligan, whatever. And I'm sitting up there, like, this boy died for nothing. Boy died for nothing. And these police, see, this is getting to a point where these damn police thinking about they can get away with anything because they wear a badge. You see how what happened to Eric Gardner. The police thought he can get away by killing this man because he wears a badge. And he's going to prison for murder. They didn't pull seven, like six bullets out this boy. Two in the head and the rest in the body. That's, think about it, two at the head and there's like four in the body. Come on. Just, he just going to the store. What kind of bullshit is this that your kids cannot go to the store without the fucking police ready to shoot them? Ready to shoot them? Police want to shoot your kids. I know, I know there's going to be white folks watching this or other minorities because one thing that they're going to say oh but you never see white people go through the same thing yeah you don't you know why it's vice versa with shit let me tell you this let me give you a, let me break it down for you ladies and gentlemen this is vice versa white kids go missing they spend a whole year on it or two years on it in the media and that's the media doing the news about a white child going missing. Look what happened to Casey Anthony. Been gone for some odd years and they've been doing a story on her. Oh, well, J.C. Dugall. J.C. Dugall. Okay, not Casey Anthony. J.C. Dugall. Yeah, that J.C. girl. Been missing 20, uh, what, 11 years? They found her. Not Casey Anthony. I'm my mistake on them. And they found that J.C., Black kid goes missing. One minute. Or a second. In the news. And that's it. That's all you hear about a black kid going missing. 
That's all you're going to hear. A black kid going missing, you'll hear a second or a minute on it. You don't hear it for a year. What happens? They don't want to do it no more. Black kid gets killed in the street. They'll spend a day, a month, a year on it. Look what they did to Trayvon. They spent a year on his case about his death. When it's a white kid getting kidnapped, they'll spend a year on it or more. When it's a black kid getting killed, they will spend a year on it or more. You see it, it's vice versa. Don't let these motherfucking media punk you. Because that's all they doing is punking you to rile you up to riot. To riot. That's all they want to do is make you riot. To get these reports, they killed this boy because he was a black kid walking from the store. They make him look bad because the color of his skin. When it's a white kid that does the same damn thing, they say self-defense. The youngest said, oh, what about Jamie? He's a minority too, and he got off because his daddy was white. His daddy was a judge. His daddy threw money to get him out. But when it comes down to it, it's vice versa. The media is pumping you up to get you out there to fight each other. Why they don't ever report about the black gang getting kidnapped? Because they don't want to. They'd rather see a white person getting kidnapped than a black person. But if it's a black kid getting killed, oh, they do it all damn day. They do that to punk you. Not just blacks or white, but Hispanics. I see a Hispanic woman in my hometown. Just gave birth to her baby. A white woman comes up. They spent two or three days on it. A few days on it. A white woman comes up after this Hispanic woman gives birth to her baby. The white woman stole the Hispanic baby. And went off. She didn't get far. She got arrested. And one thing that white woman said was, Oh, the mother sold me her baby. They arrested the mother. She just gave birth. Just gave birth to this child. And that white woman lied already. And I sat there. And I was so upset. I said, why would a Hispanic woman give up her child? And to find out that this white woman lied, she snuck in that hospital just to steal the baby. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See this shit? They put, they report this just to punk you, to get you to hate one another. And I said that, and I was so mad. I was so pissed. I was so upset. I said, the boy died. People are rioting. They just haven't hit where I'm at. I said, and I look at it, I said, this boy did not have to die like that. But people wanted to make it what it is and I've seen people on the news riding uh, not riding but protesting and you see whites blacks Hispanic Chinese Jewish protesting along with the mother of Michael Brown no peace no what no justice no peace there is no justice and there is no peace and it's funny it's fucked up I found out man another kid was arrested he wasn't arrested he was put in handcuffs and the police shot him he was a black kid it's fucked up and it's bullshit how everything goes down and and nobody see one thing about it is Nobody never questioned the media about any damn thing. Why you? No, don't question. Not, look, because one thing is, I'll be asking questions. Like if I was, if I was down this in them places, I would, I would have been questioning some of these people. I would have been questioning the police and the media. Why you? I would have been questioning. Why'd you let this dude shoot him? What y'all gonna do? But I hope prison. I hope he put us in prison. Then I have to have a bunch of people 
protesting at the police station, go down to the media. Why you write lies? Why do you write lies? Why do you sit up and put all this bullshit in the media? Why do you put this on the air knowing that this is wrong? Knowing this is terrible? See what I'm saying? So on and so forth. But nobody wants to do it. And that's all it is, man. I sit up here and I watch this. It's like a black kid gets killed. And this is what happens. And, I, and I'm frustrated out my ass that this kid died for nothing. But like, like I said, man, this kid got killed. And he was unarmed. Down in Missouri. That's what the... But ladies and gentlemen, I'm in Afro... Follow me. I'm Afro Joe the Wookiee. Find me on uh, Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookiee. Find me on Tumblr. It's kind of my channel, Silo Jr. 2, Silo Jr. 3. And tell me what you think. Because to me, it's bullshit. It's, it's like I said, the reason why they post, the reason why they do stories about black kids getting killed by police is because it's vice versa. you got to think about it. They do stories about white kids being kidnapped. And they return or they die or they dead. But they're always going to report a black kid getting killed by somebody. You gotta look at it that way. Don't blame the people. Blame the media. Don't blame the people in the street because they don't work for the media. You blame the people that's in the media for doing this. For putting out the bullshit lies to make you fight. Plus you blame the people who killed the person. That's how I see it. Like I said, this has been Afro Joe 10 like a TIS. Take care of one another. And watch your ass.